Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So today we're talking about the adornment guide. What adornments are the best for you to use? What are available? And what are the ones that you should save up for? Okay, so off to adornments. So how do you get to your adornments? Basically, you go to the store. Then you go to Mo Store. Then you go to Marble Store. Um, actually, I was I wasn't able to see this at first glance. Um, one comment in one of my videos told me that the adornment store is here. So as you can see, all of your adornments are available here. Okay, one tip: do not purchase these. Um, do not purchase these, even if they are they are just requiring the green ones, which is your clear marble, your crystal marble is actually the ones that are hard to get okay i'll teach you i'll i'll direct you to where you're gonna farm this currency later so um right here the four purple um adornments you don't get these these have very little um buffs that gives you um long term these are not gonna be good for you although if you're itching for you know to buy an adornment please don't just save them for these guys over here so let's take a look at this first so these ones are um, based on the um, type of figure that you have so first this is going to be applicable to all your defenders exclusive enhancer for defender restores health equal to 44 percent of your figure's attack and energy for each successful block okay why i think this is kind of average because again it restores the health based on the figurines attack and usually defenders attack is low um because they're defenders so um how can you get enough health or restore enough health if the figurines attack is low even though it's a 44 percent um uh a, a restoration of health again it's based on um, the attack stat of the defender that you have. So obviously defenders are low in um, attack. So again, I'm not recommending this um, unless you really want them. Next is we go to, this is for your Vanguard. So an exclusive enhancer for Vanguard. Boost damage by 11% for 6 seconds after each successful dodge. Again, these will be valuable for probably your, you know, your vanguards that are have high dodge stat but again these do not apply to to vanguards who rarely dodge who have or have low dodge stat so uh, this would be slightly i higher than average in terms of rating for me so let's move on to the next so you have here your militarist. So uh, this is for your militarist. Exclusive enhancer for militarist boosts. Attack speed by 20 and increases the amount of energy restored by 2 extra. Deactivates for 8 seconds when attacked. So this is actually a good one to get. Um, usually your militarists are at the back. Most of the time they're not hit. But sometimes they do. But um, this is actually a good one to have. This is I would rate above average for um for an for an adornment if you wish to purchase from this set so again if you have you know if you want to equip some of your, of your militarists of this one be my guest because the these actually cost less than the next category that i'm going to discuss okay next is going to be your um this is exclusive enhancer for specialists so basic attacks marks the enemy attacks from Teammates against the mark enemy grant the healing equal to 10% of the damage they, they are dealt. This one is good because this applies to all of your teammates. Um, if they have a high attack, um, I sorry, if they yeah, if they have a high attack and the damage that they deal is actually big, then the 10% would be bigger depending on the damage that they deal. So again, this is a good support because basically a lot benefits from this. And again, um, for specialists, um, they are basically damage dealers and also support for your team. And the last from your fully pro adornment, 
It's going to be your heal. Sorry, I forgot to rate this one. This again will be above average for me. So please do um, try to get this if you intend to equip some of your specialists. And last but not the least is an exclusive enhancer for your helpers. Periodic healing also renews three energy and reduces the next damage taken by 20. For me, I think um, out of the five here of, um, of what they call this, of the pro adornment, this one is the best because periodic healing also restores three energy. So aside from from a he helper who heals, it restores three energy and reduces the next damage taken by 20%. So there's damage reduction given as well to um, your allies, but it's only for one. So next damage taken. So not for the succeeding damage, only for the next one. So this one, I could rate this as um, above average, slightly above average, actually, because this is, for me, the best overall support that you could give to your figures. Okay, so now that we're done with the pro adornment, let us go to your sultry spring. Okay, so for these two up here, uh, of course, the pro adornment costs less uh, than your spring, but... Again, the spring um, adornments are the best ones to get. We'll um, go first to these. So these actually, these two actually belong to the spring adornment, but they they are actually highlighted here because Ayane and Chow Chow just actually released. So let's go to Chow Chow's um, adornment first. So enhances Chow Chow's basic attack. The amount of additional damage dealt to poison targets is increased by eighty. To increase the damage for his um, for his attack, unleashing his ultimate cow cow grants 45% decrease attack speed for five seconds. This is, I think, for me, um, let's say I put it at above average. Um, this one is actually beneficial, very beneficial, especially to the skill set that he has. But um, for me, I think overall it's not one of the best. So I'll leave it as above average for my rating. Then for Ayane, um, enhances Ayane Okada's ultimate, boosts ultimate power by 20, reduces her damage taken by 60 during Ayane's ultimate. Um, this one, I would rate this as a must need for Ayane. This um, gives her enough staying power in your matches especially for the for the reduced damage taken and the boosting of the ultimate power 20 i would rate this one as um, a higher than higher than above average probably one of i think the best that you could give to probably enhance a performance of a certain figure so if you would want to you know out of the two of these um, if you have Ayane, please, um, uh, what they call this, please go ahead and get this. This is a priority. This is what I'm saving for now. So as you can see, I'm waiting for um, for this, for the crystal marble to be 1,000. Then I'll be getting this definitely. So last, we'll be going to our Sultry Spring adornment box. So these are similar to Ayane and Chow Chow's. Um, these are special um, made for specific characters or figures. So let's start with Norris. Norris actually, this one is enhances Norris's ultimate boost crit damage by 12% when unleashing the ultimate stacking up to five times. I will not rate these, but I will rate these because there are two available per figure i'll i'll just uh, select what is best that you choose from okay so this one this is based on his on her ultimate this one is enhances Nor norris's passive boost attack speed by 25 percent and accuracy boost by 40 percent for 15 seconds when the battle starts okay if you ask you if you ask me which of the two i am going to get or i'm going to recommend is i'm going to recommend this one because Critical damage ad added to the ultimate attack. Norris's ultimate attack attacks actually the, the the last figure in the line that she's attacking. So if you uh, Norris is actually built for that, um, she's not built for for really to to take advantage of splash damage 
uh, because the splash damage that she has is has a RNG of a certain percentage, which doesn't trigger all the time. So this one is actually for her splash damage, although accuracy bonus increases the splash damage, but uh, this is only for 15 seconds. So I would go with this one for Norris because mainly if you bring Norris, ultimately her purpose is to take out who is at the last portion, which is usually militarists, with our, which is usually vulnerable. So I would rather get her because of her specialty in enhancing her ultimate. So this one, the gentle blade is recommended for her, this one. Okay, next is Xanta Kane. So for Xanta is enhances, uh, the first one is enhances Xanta Kane's passive. Whenever an enemy inflicted with transcendence is killed, transfer the effect to another enemy. The secondary effect cannot transfer again, so it's limited to only one transfer while, the, while also increase Xanta Kane's damage by 15%. For five seconds the damage buff can be stacked by three times so this can be up to 45 percent so this is actually good in you know multiple enemies on the field uh, it's actually good also in pvp because you only have five enemies that you have to go to this does not really go with bosses especially if the boss is only one you won't be able to transfer it to another enemy but uh, if the boss has two other bodyguards probably yes so this is good for multiple enemies but the next one this one uh angelic him enhances xanta kane's ultimate boosts attack speed by 25 percent for five seconds after unleashing ultimate and in the meantime basic attacks deal extra damage equal to 100 or 100% over her attack. So this is called Angelic Him. So this is the one that I would want or would recommend you guys to get because Xanta Kane for me is one of, one of, uh, what they call this, one of uh, the best in taking out huge bosses. Um, if you have a lineup, if you have opponents which are few, she, this is actually good for her because again, boost attack speed, Transition ultimate and the basic attack deals extra damage. So again, this one I would recommend again the Angelic Him, not the Gangster Girl. So Angelic Him for Xantha Kane. So next would be um Camille. So for Camille enhances Camille's ultimate restores six energy after a successful lock. So the lock even for Camille has a certain percentage to trigger a lock so uh what if the lock doesn't trigger and um you definitely you won't restore any energy so this one i'm not gonna recommend this one this is divine blood but the other one i'm going to recommend because enhances camille's passive grants 40 percent to lock an extra random enemy at the back line when the battle start this won't be adjusted by camille's accuracy bonus this one, however, is it uh, adds to the number of locks that his passive can do. So one additional lock, which gives you an increased chance to lock someone. Because again, the lock is actually played by a certain percentage of a chance. So, uh, so it, you know, RNG plays into if you will be locking. And the locking is actually not a high rate. It's a low rate. So definitely, I would go with this one to increase the number of possible locks for a for a group of enemies or a yeah group of enemies or a enemy or sorry for a group of enemies um and also uh minions as well i think can be locked for this one <laughs> okay so so as you can see there again divine blood no then Forbidden Grimoire, yes, I'm recommending this for Camille if you intend to get one for him. So next is for Midori. So increases damage, sorry, in enhances Midori's passive, increase the damage for Slim Chance by 25%. Slim Chance is actually his pass, uh, her passive. Remove silent buff, if any, and decreases attack speed by 50% for two seconds whenever Slim Chance activates. Okay, so... Again, increases the frequency of, um, sorry, increases damage to passive. So this is actually, you know, what she does. So just additional damage 
and a silent and remove silence as well and attack speed and the next one for midori is great fighter enhances midori's ultimate increase ultimate power by 44 percent activates slim chance after unleashing the ultimate this one uh, the Great Fighter, I would definitely recommend this over the other one because this is guaranteed to increase the ultimate power by 44% and activate Slim Chance after unleashing the ultimate. So activates per passive guarantee. There's no RNG for this one. However, this one, the Unyielding Faith is... Although it increased the damage uh, of her passive and increased attack speed by 50% for 2 seconds, this is actually... Um, two seconds whenever Slim Chance activates. So Slim Chance also has a an RNG to activate. So if it, if it doesn't activate, then this one doesn't activate as well. So I would recommend this one. Great Fighter for Midori, just in case you want that on her. Okay, next is Vazerwin. So for Vazerwin, um, enhances Perseverance, enhances... Vazarin's passive, whenever Rain of Arrows activates, grants a 55% chance to activate twice. So 55% again is not that big. This will be adjusted by Vazarin's accuracy bonus. So um I'm if if you know guys, I'm leaning towards um skills that activate without RNG or with high chance of RNG. So I'm going with piercing despair. So enhances Vazarin's ultimate deals damage equal to 214% of Vazarin's attack to her current target for each enemy soul split hit. So if um, if if there are, for example, 9 enemies, then um, this would be bigger. Because the 214% is, is uh, damage dealt to her current target for each enemy soul split hits. Okay, so again, if it, this is 9 enemies, so this is 214% times, you know, the number of enemies it hits. So it hits the damage, the 214 damage deals to the current the, the, the current um, enemy that is in front of her. So this is based on the one that she's attacking con consistently. And um, again, this would be the best uh, one to get her. Uh, so far... This will really complement what she does. Okay, so what again was that? That is place, uh, Piercing Despair. Do not get Perseverance, by the way. Get Piercing Despair. Okay, so last and not the least is with Rin. So Rin is... Um, in, uh, she has Agent Training Hall. Enhances Rin's passive when an enemy is defeated. Increases Rin's damage with 20% for 5 seconds. So again, another condition an enemy has to be defeated. What if an enemy, all enemies are still alive? So this going to trigger. Effect can be stacked up to 3 times. Also has a 70% chance to trigger one additional combo with 50% increased damage. Okay. This one is supposed to be good at 70% chance to trigger. But again, the damage... With 50% increased damage. Okay, so more or less, um, this is going to be good if you hit your RNG again. Because 50% increased damage. This is 50% above the damage that you will be dealing. <coughs> Not 50% damage. Okay, but again, this is RNG. So if you don't want RNG, I would recommend this one. Black Tea Time enhances Rin's passive. Rin's combo changes from dealing two times to three times. So that's already a big increase. Another hit um, from dealing damage two times to three times. So that's another hit uh, additional. Increase the total damage by 25%. So I like this one because this is guaranteed. No RNG involved. Um, it just increased automatically by one times. Okay. So again, just to recap... For Norris, you I am recommending Gentle Blade. Next is um, for Xanta Kane, I'm recommending Angelic Him. Next for Camille, I'm recommending Forbidden Grimoire. For Midori, I'm recommending Great Fighter. For Vazeruin, I'm recommending Piercing Despair. And for Rin, I'm recommending Black Tea Time. 
So those are my recommendations so far as the available adornments that you have in the store. So probably in the future, we'll be getting additional adornments for other figures as well. But for the meantime, if you're planning to buy, um, I think you should buy this one first for Ayane. Unless you have other priorities here, then go ahead and do so. But for now, if you guys are, are using Ayane, please buy this one. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to transfer here or this is going to be um, removed from the store. But hopefully this is not a limited one that you can purchase this um, in the months to come as well. Okay, guys. So that is it so far for our adornment guide. Hopefully you could now choose on which adornments are worth your while in investing because adornments are, you know, our equipment for the end game. And uh, this currency is actually rare to find. So by the way, I'm going to take you to where you can get those so you can basically farm them in your Apocalypse War, whichever whichever um, stage you clear here, you can farm them here. So this, this sleepy guy changes to another boss, then you can still farm it from that boss. So again, guys, thank you very much for staying this far. So hopefully I have, the, I have uh, um, you know, shared with you some tips that you will find uh, helpful. And thank you guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden and I'm out here.